Okay, we are about to head into Bush Gardens and I am excited, but folks, there is a Fazoli's over there. We just realized a Fazoli's. It's brand new. Oh my gosh. Well, yeah, there it is. There's the Fazoli's right across the street, just waiting for us. You ready? I can smell it in the future. Ooh, me too. Because it's not open yet. Yeah, it's, a, it's, right it's not open yet. Hopefully it will <laughs> open soon. And when it does, you bet your breadsticks we're going. You bet your breadsticks <laughs> we will be there. The tram. And much like myself right now, the uh, lion topiary that usually sits here is all covered up because uh, it's freezing out here, folks. It is really, really cold. Fazoli's fanatic aside, we are here at Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay, and I am so excited. It has been a very long time since I have been here. A very long time, maybe, maybe about a decade or so since I have been to this particular Bush Gardens. Happy, Happy Mardi, Mardi Gras! Are you guys ready to see us at parades? So ready! Yes, you better come see us. The next one's at 2.15. 2 15. Got it. We'll be, we'll be there. there. Parades and beignets. Beignets. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Okay, and we have made it inside of the park. And we are here for. Mardi Gras, oh yeah. We've got our little uh, sampler tickets here, so we're gonna try a bunch of the food and drinks that they have here. I am so excited, and look at this fun photo opportunity that they have here. Very festive and very fun, and they're even handing out the beads already. Hello everyone. Howdy. Welcome and welcome back. We're here at Bush Gardens Tampa Bay with Tampa J. It's my hometown theme park. Yeah. It's my fave. I'm so excited to be here with you. I'm so excited you're here. This, this is, is a dream come true. This is very epic, a very epic moment. So as I was saying yeah. earlier, it has been quite a while since I have been here. I did many uh, field trips here, band trips here, um, etc. So. I'm very excited to see Welcome back. the park again. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, really excited. And as I mentioned before, too, it's we're here Mardi Gras time. Time. Woo, I'm excited. We got these awesome backstage passes. Yeah. How many times can we say that joke? We took a super stretch limo. <laughs> yeah. No, actually a super stretch tram. Yeah, we did. Yeah. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, we're going to try out some food, some drinks. It's gonna be awesome. I'm yeah. I'm really excited. I've never uh, been able to eat enough to get one of these sampler cards. So I'm excited. <laughs> I have a food buddy with me. I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm hungry too. So we're gonna get going. I'm excited. Are you excited? Oh yeah, let's go. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Also, folks, if you're interested, you can get your own lanyard as well. Here are the uh, prices for it. If you're coming here and you know you're gonna eat a lot of food, drink a lot of drinks. This is definitely, this is definitely the way to go. Oh yeah, that's right. There's something about this park that is coming soon that has we've been waiting for for a long time. What was it again? Finally, finally, finally. I've been talking about this for three years. It's happening. They just announced on March 11th, 2022. That is this precise year. The Iron Gwazi, the magic word. Opening, opening and a date that goes along with it so that's, that's some, uh yeah. that's pretty exciting that's for roller coaster fans right there's something in the future there something is big. always there is right always something in the future it's folks towering above our heads yep up there up there there's somewhere a... march 11th yeah. 2022 like this giant snake head uh-huh like it's great and big and I'm excited. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Iron Gwazi, folks. Hope you all are excited. I always love seeing the wax machines that you can do at the parks here. This definitely brings me back to when I was a kid, and I'm pretty sure 
I remember these from my days of visiting Bush Gardens yeah. and also Gatorland, which we are gonna have to do at some point oh, as yeah, well. I have been to Gatorland since 1993. Wow, yeah, it is it, it is, is time. My name. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to make that happen soon. Alligators. Alligators. Looks like we have entered the Mardi Gras section of the park here. We both have uh, on purpose not eaten anything today in yeah, anticipation for this event, so it is time, yeah. time to find some food. Now, for those of you who are new to the channel, uh, spoiler alert, I do not eat meat. One of the things that I plan to do with the channel as I visit events like this um, and restaurants and things like that is to kind of determine, uh, am I able to eat here? What sort of things am I able to eat here? It's in no way, shape or form meant to uh, shame any theme parks or restaurants or anything like that for not having options if they don't have options or whatever. It's, it's not meant for that. It's just me, my experience being a person, again, who doesn't eat any meat, um, how I visit theme parks and how I deal with, uh, with the food offerings. So just keep that in mind as we are going throughout uh, the park here in the event. I'm very excited to see what things and options that they have. Um, so without further ado, let's get going. I am so hungry. So right behind me where I was just standing is the original Hospitality House. Hospitality House. Now called the Garden Cafe, but this uh -huh. is this is where you would go back in the day when Anheuser Busch owned the park. You get your uh, free Budweiser samples. That's where all uh, our great uncles, grandmas, and aunts. Were. All the beer drinkers in the past used that's to congregate to here. Yeah, samples. that's awesome. And it was oh. actually shocking to me because I remember when Budweiser owned these parks. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of crazy to me that they, they're they not even, right. their presence isn't even here anymore. So. I've got photos with the Clydesdale horses here. Budweiser yeah, horses. yeah, I remember those. Wow, horses. that's that's pretty crazy. But yep, there you go, folks. Piece of history right there. And the first food option that we have come across, number seven, Jackson Square. Looks like they have fish and grits, Creole style jambalaya, impossible dirty rice, impossible meat being uh, fake meat, and uh, a cocktail, spiced vanilla old-fashioned cocktail. They also have some beers. Now, what I would be able to eat off of this list is the impossible dirty rice because again, impossible meaning uh, not real meat. Uh, but the only problem for me is that I'm actually not a fan of impossible meat. So Tampa Jay got the shrimp and grits. Shrimp and grits. As I, I any got a good shrimp. old country boy should. Dipping and it in the grits. How is it? Really good. Yeah. The palate is so pleased. Uh -huh. It's so nice in there. The combustions, <laughs> the uh, the red sauce, the tomato, uh -huh. the onion, the grits, the shrimp. Mm-hmm. It's all good, it's huh? So good. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, it was actually it was warm because I actually helped him carry it over here, and um, it was nice. So. Good thing I got a beer too from yeah. the Abita Abita uh, Bottling Company of mm -hmm. Louisiana. Mm -hmm. The yeah. lager, thankfully. All right, it how is it? The palate quite nicely. Okay. <laughs> I I did not get a beer myself. Hey, that's my beer. Yeah, no, no sorry. <laughs> I just want to try it. I didn't get one myself because I want to get some food first. Uh, but I just want to try it. Oh, that's good. I like yeah. it. Yeah, it's in a cute little glass too. Perfect size for me. So like I said earlier, I am not an Impossible Meat fan. Being a vegetarian for about 16 years, 17 years, something like that. Most of my life at this point. Um, I don't want to taste meat anymore. And unfortunately, Impossible Meat tastes too much like meat. So it's just not really my thing. So I, I passed on the rice, as I said, but uh, we're gonna go find some other food. There's lots, still lots of stuff to eat around here, lots of dessert, and again, lots of drinks. Uh, so we'll, we'll be showing as much as we can, but all right, on to the next adventure. Here we go. Here we go. And they do have live music here. What is Mardi Gras without live music after all? Looks like the Rusty Wright Band plays at a couple of times here at the Coke Canopy, a very beautiful looking uh, stage that they have here. So we're definitely gonna have to catch one of those shows for sure. And we found some flamingos. Look how cute they are. They have little crowns on and beads around their little necks and they're even planters. They are 
absolutely adorable. And there's cute little signs around them too. I'm kind of a bead deal. Oh yeah, I see what they did there. This whole display is really beautiful, very colorful, very festive. Uh, I have definitely missed this park. I, I love parks when they include real live animals and have all of the plants and the foliage. It's just really awesome. I'm so happy to be back here. So after running around the park trying to find some food really quick, I decided to go with these cupcakes over here at Excursions. And they have a bunch of different kinds. The ones that I got are the rosé ones, mostly because they're pink and, well, they look pretty, but they do have a bunch of different kinds. And the cool part too is you can use your lanyard for them, folks, so keep that in mind. I don't even know what's in these. I just picked them because they were pink. They're pretty in pink. Yeah. I get it. Let's see here. Ooh, look how cute they are. Very Mardi Gras-esque. Yeah, they, they do. Very they cute. got their little masks on there. Yeah, little mask. It's Wonder probably made taste. out of pure sugar. Or, um, good stuff? So good. <laughs> I'm gonna be firing on all cylinders after these. I'll scoot closer to you. Yeah, so I'm an icing guy. So yeah, I just... I'm an icing gal. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, this is how I deal with that. Okay. I just take it right off the top. Oh. It's a bold move. Good. Good icing? Good. Oh, good. The bread is actually really good, though. I got food. The bread? The cake. The cake? Okay. Yeah, it is good. It definitely tastes like a cupcake. I'm finding. It's shaped like a cup. <laughs> yeah, you can only get in the um, little fridge there. You can only get either a pack of two or a pack of four cupcakes. So oh, okay. I, I didn't know two. you get four. That is a four. Here comes the parade. <laughs> All the costumes look so awesome, so pretty, and the sun came out just at the right time to see all the shimmering fabrics and beads and whatnot. Got some still walkers there. Oh wow, look at this. That's so awesome.
here. Chris from the future. Um, I just wanted to interrupt this really quick because throughout the entire day yesterday, I never got a coffee. <laughs> um, so I didn't want to have a whole video where I did not give um, a shout out and a thanks to one of my supporters for um, helping out the channel. And um, even more surprisingly, it's like, how did I have, how was I able to go through a whole day without needing a coffee? I, it just doesn't, anyway. This one is thanks to my good pal, Parker. Thank you, Parker, so much for the coffee. I really appreciate it. And uh, not just the coffee, but the excuse to order DoorDash today. Uh, not that I ever really need an excuse, quite honestly. I order DoorDash all the time. DoorDash, if you're listening, I could always use a sponsor. I'm, I'm just saying. Anyway, regardless, thank you very much, Parker, for the coffee and for the support of the channel in general. Um, you have always been such a huge supporter, even from the very, very beginning. Um, and I appreciate it so, so much. And by the way, folks, Parker has a YouTube channel as well. And he goes to theme parks. Uh, he does uh, theme park reviews and um, he does like POV views of rides and, and all kinds of stuff like that. He's super, super funny. Love his content. Uh, so I'll actually put a link to his channel down below in the comment section. Uh, if you want to check it out so um but anyway yes thank you very much parker thank you for the coffee i really do appreciate it and now without further ado let's get back <laughs> to the video and back to the mardi gras stuff actually we're heading out of mardi gras at this point and we are going to take a tour of the rest of the park so yeah okay hope you all are enjoying and uh i'll see you in a bit right about now and this is how old school Bush Gardens Park I am. To me, Shikra is a brand new ride. But apparently it's been around for quite a while. But yeah, to me, it's new. This is my first time seeing it in person. And no, I will not be riding it. But Tampa J is going to be riding it. I'm going to go. You're going to go. With the GoPro. With the GoPro. And I'm going to hold the camera. All right, yeah, hold this. It's the, I need this one, not this one. Yeah, Thank it's the, you it's the greatest it. honor I have ever received. All right. Thank you. Here's my wallet, my keys. Social just security in case card. Don't make it. Yeah, okay. all that stuff. Thank you. Yeah. Perfect. Yep. All right. Godspeed, Tampa J. All right, Godspeed. Here I go. So, also, if you're new to the channel, just so you know, I do not do roller coasters, uh, they're not my thing. Um, they used to be back in the day, but not so much anymore. Um, so I will not be riding the roller coasters here. But if you want a really cool POV shot of, uh, of the roller coaster Sheikra here, make sure that you check out Tampa J's video because uh, that's what he's doing right now. So yeah, just wanted to throw that, throw that one out there for y'all in case you're new here. It does look like a really cool ride though. It makes me wish that I was still doing these things. But I really just can't. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. I wonder if he's on that one. He might be. He might be. And here it comes. Had to go down the hill. Woo! jokingly before but I really do mean it. It is a huge honor to be holding this man's camera and um, yes I will be singing his praises quite a lot on this channel because he's an amazing person. And he deserves it and I almost almost got incredibly incredibly wet just now. I have to say I'm actually kind of shocked that the log flume ride here is actually operating today. It is, uh, it's still pretty cold out here, even though the sun is now shining. It's a beautiful blue sky, but uh, pretty much the last thing that I want to do right now is get wet. Still looks fun though. And unfortunately, we will not be riding a sky ride today. Oh no. Yep, it's uh, opening summer, 20. 
22. So maybe, maybe I can get a sky ride buddy to go with you. got me. it. I miss the sky ride, especially yep. the sky ride at night. It's uh -huh. been, that'll oh. be like two and a half years since the sky ride. Wow. Right there. Okay. Now what kind of sky ride is it? Is it a dangly feet one or is it a bucket one? It's a bucket. Oh, it's a bucket. Okay. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, I could, I could probably do that then without a panic attack. You maybe. could chuck it with the bucket. <laughs> Look at the orangutans go. Looks like a, a baby one and a parent one. Look at them go. Wow, look at them go. They made it. Look, and they're coming down. Mission Impossible theme stuck in my head right now. I can't imagine why. <laughs> well, and we found the infamous Chick fil A. Yeah, this is the first time I've seen it open. Okay, yeah, I was just about to ask is it open? Now, if you haven't guessed it by now, or know by now, uh, this particular Bush Gardens is themed to Africa and Asia, whereas the one in uh, Williamsburg is themed to Europe. If I'm not mistaken, and if I am, someone please correct me. But yeah, so you'll see those themes and elements around here. Also, wow, uh, big ol' uh, big orangutan. He's going down the slide, it looks like. Living his best orangutan life. And we literally just realized it's Sunday. Chick-fil-A is not open on Sundays. Tigers. Why did it have to be tigers? Actually, I love tigers. And it's really cool to be going down here with Tampa Jay because this is his favorite part of the park. Also, fun fact, tigers were my uh, school mascot. High school mascot. So, woo! Go tigers! And we did indeed find a tiger. Look at him, he's snoozing. <laughs> Taking a little cat nap over there. Ladies and gentlemen, the backside of a tiger. Aw, so beautiful. Okay, we're gonna head down this ladder because there's quite a line. Fine. <laughs> there he is, Tampa J, slowly making his way down. I'm looking at the tiger. That's where we just were. Checking out the backside of that beautiful, beautiful creature. And there's somebody else. Okay, let's go find let's go find Jay. And I have to say this tiger trail has been really cool. It's uh very expansive. We've walked all around here and it's very beautiful. I can see why you like it so much. Oh I love it. I love tigers. Yeah. It's my favorite land animal. Oh yeah. And your favorite water animal? Shark. Good choice. And they have little boats here as well. Oh, that's cute. They're so cute. They remind me of little jungle cruises over there. Very adorable. Oh my gosh, and I just realized the alligator has little baby alligators <laughs> popping out of the eggs. I never noticed that. They're so cute. <laughs> Speaking of alligators, coming up on the Congo River Rapids. Or is it crocodiles? It might be crocodiles. In any case, I'm not sure that either of us will be riding that ride. Yeah, not right? today, it's too cold. Yeah, it is way, no. way too cold. Oh, look at those miserable people getting soaked on this super cold day. No way. I do not envy them at all. The wait time is zero minutes. Zero minutes? Zero minutes for the rapids ride. Oh, no. No? Yeah, oh man. But they got the fancy dryers. I don't feel like getting, oh, I don't feel like getting hypothermia. Okay, fair enough, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's do it. <laughs> no, no, never mind. <laughs> I changed my mind. <laughs> As I'm standing here waiting for the uh, rapids ride to go through, I'm noticing the sign looks like it's saying turtle sighted. Are turtles even in the Congo? I have no idea. There they go. They got the right idea. They got ponchos on. That's the only way to do it in cold weather like this. Also, Kumba is this way, which is this uh, turquoise roller coaster you can see through the trees there. Now, back in my day, I actually uh, rode this ride quite a few times. It was pretty fun. But uh, yeah, again, 
That ain't happening today. There it goes. Up the lift hill. Yep, I definitely, I definitely remember riding this ride. bumper cars uh, from when I visited as a child as well and what are they called again? You bang a bang a bumper cars. It. There's a sign over there. There is a sign over there. It's, but I, They are classic. They are classic. They've been here a long time. I just wanted to hear you say you the name bang -a -bang -a. of the bumper cars. Thank you. <laughs> My life is made. Now, there's so many things about this park that I remember as a youth. And then there's a whole lot of other things about this park that is completely brand new to me. But like this, behind this that we are about to walk into, used to be Timbuktu back in my day. Back in your day. And now it's- My day too. <laughs> Pantopia, yeah. Welcome right. to Pantopia. Pantopia, I hope they have a lot of pans here. It's a bad joke. Pan pizza? It's a pan joke. Ooh, that'd be good. I wish. Bush Gardens, if you're listening, please, <laughs> please. Please, for the love of God, have some pizza options here. <laughs> and of course, I have to get my carousels. Every park I go to, if they have one, I gotta get it on film. And it looks like it's finishing up. It's a beautiful carousel, though. I love all the lights at the top, all of the different uh, horses, and looks like there's a camel up there. Very, very nice. I definitely remember this section of the park for sure. And over here by Falcon's Fury, which is this uh, drop right here, I was just saying to Jay, it used to be a spinny ride. I remember a uh, adult spinny ride yeah. that was here that I actually went on back in the day. It made me kind of nauseous even back then. <laughs> but yeah, now it's a uh, it's a drop ride. Falcon's Fury. Falcon's Fury. I love it. A fun trip down the ground level. <laughs> here in the elephant display area, I definitely remember a short-lived ride that was right over here and you went in a little jeep, a little yeah. safari jeep. That's right. And, um, Some of the pathways right there. Actually. Yeah. Yeah, I think all of that looks familiar and I'm gonna guess the bridge up there was part of it as well. I never got to ride it. Did you? Did you yeah, ride I it? did. I, I loved it. You actually were on uh, Range Rovers. Uh huh. You actually rode on that, like old Range Rovers. It was yeah. Pretty, it was pretty cool. It was really cool. So I, I always wanted to ride it. Yeah. I never got to. Oh yeah. There's elephants over there, by the way. And the Christmas just never seems to stop with this channel, it seems like. But uh, we've stumbled across Santa's little house here, Christmas Town, where he comes to visit every year, but yep. he has returned to the North oh, Pole. Why they mentioned yep. it. Yeah, me too. I was kind of wondering if we'd went. be able to visit him, yeah. <laughs> but we'll have to see him later, later this year. See you next year, Santa. See you next year, actually later this year. Once again, I just have to say, this is a very gorgeous park. And it is very evident that we, uh, we will not be able to see everything today. So we are definitely going to have to come back. We're going to come back for uh, Iron Gwazi. Yeah, for today and these purposes, I think we're going to go back to the Mardi Gras section, get some food, and uh, I'll have to cover the rest later because there were some animals and, um, well, quite a, quite a lot of things that I really wanted to show. Sesame Place and, and all of that stuff, but I'm not sure that we'll get to it today. But let me tell you, what I can give you time for are uh, their abandoned Christmas places and um, yeah, stuff like that. So you're welcome, everyone. Choices. Choices. There goes the train. Or actually, there stops the train. We have stumbled across the Mayombe Reserve where you can see Gorillas. This is actually a really cool moment for me. I have several pictures of myself and my brother hanging out right here, <laughs> right on top of this gorilla. And you were saying that you have yeah. some memories here as well, huh? Yeah, I've got family photos with these gorillas as yeah. well. Yeah, can't, wait, which one's Tampa J? Which one is Tampa 
J. Up, oh, I found him. He's right there. Come on, Tampa J. We got we got videos to do. We got vlogs to do. We found a chimpanzee. He's walking around up there. Very cool. Yep, there he comes. Coming up this way. Wow, that's amazing. There he goes. And genetically, they are more similar to us than any other animal. Just follow here. Yeah. This is fun. across here. Yep, just watching. Watching him go. Just kind of letting the camera roll. Watching this majestic creature. Munch on the orange or whatever he's eating. It's really cool. It's really cool to see. Oh, we've almost had this whole trail more or less to ourselves here. Very quiet, very peaceful, very tranquil. Oh, found more chimps. It says, do not climb or sit on the rocks. Chimpanzees, you're breaking the rules. Whatcha, whatcha doing there? Oh, I'm helping my friend. Oh, it's very nice of you. Yeah, he had something in his uh, fur there. Oh, gotcha. There. Okay. Yeah, so I'm helping them. Yeah, that's good. I good for it. you. I got it. Yeah. Great. You're supposed to eat it. He's got more. Okay, great. Perfect. This is uh, not part of the uh, Mardi Gras menu, by the way. Yeah. Honestly, though, if I was a chimpanzee and this is where I lived, that's pretty much exactly where I would hang out as well. Pretty beautiful. Yeah, it's a really nice spot. Now, normally in this spot, there would be a ton of alligators and turtles but I think they are all underwater or backstage somewhere because it is again still pretty darn cold so no gators here but uh, usually there are that's how I know I'm back in Florida too there's gators in them their waters and I have decided to go with a pretzel it was that or the popcorn so I guess I'm just gonna uh, somehow open this, there we go, and grab me a pretzel. Your eye on the prize. Stay on target. Stay on target. Got it. So, as I am, uh, shoving this pretzel down my throat, Tam okay? Tampa J, ah. regale us with some facts about Iron Gwazi. Oh, okay, it's gonna be the fastest, uh -huh. steepest, okay. tallest. Uh-huh hybrid roller coaster. That's wood and steel. Wood and steel. Wood and steel. It used to be wood. It used to be called mm -hmm. just Gwazi. I remember you, that. As you know, you wrote it too. I wrote it several times. Mm -hmm. They shut Gwazi down and made iron Gwazi. They made it more metal. That's why it's got like a metal logo. It kind of reminds me of Iron Maiden. Yeah, right there. <laughs> because it got I like metal. It. it got metal. Yeah, that's... Yeah. That's a good way to look at it. It was wood, and now it's metal. It was acoustic, and then it got electric. Yeah. It got steel. Oh, I like it, yeah. That's a good way to think about it. Cool. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. And we have come full circle back to the Mardi Gras area. We're right next to where I got my uh, cupcake, cupcakes earlier. And now I think we're going to find some more sweets to eat. I'm thinking beignets. Beignets. Yeah, yes, yeah. Beignets. Yay. I also want to point out this stand here called the Nola Creamery number five on the map. Also has some uh, decadent treats that you can get. Looks like a, ooh, a cheesecake waffle cone. That sounds amazing. A sundae and a uh, bourbon street cream and cookie. That sounds also amazing. But I think we are holding on to our sweet teeth for some beignets here's what we're dealing with the sweet beignets looks like they have a couple of different options that you can get for toppings on top of your beignets there's a chocolate drizzle the classic powdered sugar and bananas foster and i think tampa j is gonna go for the bananas and i'm gonna go for the classic powdered sugar and they also have a uh, smoked bourbon peach sour cocktail in case that's your thing as well. There we go. Wow, my hair is huge. <laughs> I like it. Beautiful hair. 
Bananas Foster and regular. Regular, normal, powdered sugar. One punch, one punch, two punch on my card. Yep. I got a Coke because sometimes, you know, you just want a Coke and the punch counts. That's a good, <laughs> that's a good tip. It does count for Cokes and, and waters as well. Yeah, there so you go. very helpful. I'm just gonna, yeah. Yeah, ready? Oh, wow. <laughs> We're having issues over here. Technical difficulties. Good. It's delicious. Really good. You liked it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> try mine. Yeah, you try mine. That's a traditional beignet right there. It's gonna... Really good stuff. Yeah. Can't go wrong with the classics. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I should have warned you. That's so good. It's delicious. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I could say which one's my favorite. They're both delightful in their own delightful way. Mm -hmm. Aw, look, I came across my pals. There's Big Bird and Elmo greeting me. Hey guys, nice to see you again. Last time I saw them, I was in a Sesame Place, the only Sesame Street themed theme park in the country so far, over in uh, near Philadelphia. So it's good to see these guys again. Okay, and I think that is going to do it for today here at Bush Gardens and here at Mardi Gras. Yeah. Did you enjoy it? Oh my gosh, I had the best time ever with you today here. It's my favorite time I've ever had at Bush Gardens. Well, I'm, I'm so glad and I'm very, I'm, very honored I'm, as well. I'm doing this like Big Bird behind us. Yeah, yeah great day. <laughs> Sunny days, right? Sunny, Sunny days. days. Yeah, no, this was, uh, this was my absolute favorite time here at Bush Gardens as well. So I very much appreciate it and I'm honored that you feel the same because I know you love this park. The honor is all mine. I couldn't <laughs> wait to bring you here. This was yeah. like at the top of my list. I can't believe it took so long for us to get here. Yeah, well, you but know. We've been busy. We've been traveling. <laughs> and we'll be back too as well. There's so much other stuff that oh, yeah. I want to show. Like for example, uh, there's Sesame Street area around here. I really want to see in the children's section. Right through the bushes. Um, I'm so excited to see that and to, and to share all of that with you. I have a lot of memories here, but uh, I think for today that will do it. There will be other times. So on that note, we're going to head out of here. Maybe walk around a little bit. Yeah, we don't. Without the cameras. We can put away the camera, walk yeah, around. Yeah, just for a bit. a bit. You don't yeah. mind, do you? No, they don't mind. Okay. They, they, they like, they, they want us to do that. Thanks for I have watching, a feeling. everyone. <laughs> don't forget to check out Tampa Jay's video, obviously. He had a camera too, as I like to say. That one right there. So make sure you check out his video. Thank and you. Um, yeah, I think we're going to head out of here. I think so there's a, a walk in our future. There is a walk in our future. future. Yep. So thank you all so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it and of course all of the support as well. Hopefully y'all had a good time. <sighs> Thanks, Mardi Gras. Gardens. Thank you, Bush Gardens. We had a really good time, yeah. ate a lot of really good food. Events going on till March the 7th, 7th yeah. right? Somewhere around that time. So if you're in the area, check it out. We had a great time. We're gonna go now. Thank you. It was Let's an go. awesome day. Yeah, Thank it you. was an awesome day. Okay, we're gonna go. Bye guys. Bye. Bye everyone. Hasta Bye Big la Bird. Vista. Bye, Big Bird. Bye, Elmo. Bird. I gave you no love over there, but Elmo is over When did there. he get here? Yeah, he's been there. He's been there nah. that whole time. So, okay. <laughs> Let's go. We're gonna head out. Let's go. Flamingos. Flamingos. I love my flamingos. I love his flamingos. And I love my time with Chris the girl. It's been fun. <laughs> it has been so much fun. So much fun. But the real question is, what was uh, what was more sugary sweet, those uh, beignets, or what just happened right now? <laughs> uh, but seriously, it is such an honor to be here with uh, with your flamingos. Oh, it's such an honor to be here with you. Thank you. Yeah, I I remember the very first time that you sang to these flamingos. So it's I really cool to be here. I sing to them a lot because I love my flamingos. Yeah, I can see why they're pretty. And the sky, like the backdrop too, is like yeah. 
it's really nice out right now. Yeah, it's very pretty. Goodbye, Fazolis. Goodbye. See you real soon, I hope. Fazolis, real Italian. The best. Yeah, you don't have much left. <laughs> you want another bite of this? No, I will. Oh, I was just getting powder. I was oh, okay. helping you. Oh, okay. Powder on my face. I'm admiring you. <laughs> admiring me as I shove powdered sugar all, like rub powdered sugar all over oh, my face. Oh, you have no idea. Yes. It's a delicious and beautiful sight. <laughs> the beignets, too. Uh huh.